Jamie here with Toyota Material Handling in Northern California. I'm here to talk to you about how to take care of your forklift battery. Here we have a wet cell lead acid industrial battery and this is one of the most common and cost effective power sources for your Toyota forklift. Um, it does require maintenance, it requires water and proper charging and I'm going to talk to you about how to use a single point watering system. So as you can see this is equipped with a single point system with tubing that connects all of the cells. Each cell has a cap and the system will deliver the appropriate amount of water to every cell. Using a delivery system here we have a five gallon gravity feed tank. There are other options depending on your fleet size such as mobile watering carts and wall mount deionizers. Um, for using the gravity feed tank in order to get the right PSI for the system to work properly, you will need to mount this about five feet above the top of this battery. Do not put it on the overhead guard. Um, once you have that in the right spot, filled with water, you can use deionized, distilled. Any water is better than no water. Um, you're going to come to your single point system and remove this dust cover. You have a quick disconnect fitting on the fill system and the deliver and the watering system. Those are going to click together and they're instantly going to start filling all of your cells and you will know by this little flow meter spinning. You know the watering is done when that flow meter stops spinning at which point you can remove the quick disconnect fitting. You're going to put your dust cap back on your QD fitting and then put that somewhere where it won't get smushed and broken. Another thing to keep in mind is that these systems um, are best suited for weekly watering and for a single shift. If you don't use your, your forklift as much, you may um, go longer, but rule of thumb is once a week after a full charge. Another thing to consider is doing a visual check at least maybe once a month. Every one of these cells is equipped with a small visual indicator and when your battery is fully charged and you've watered it and you've disconnected, do a quick look to make sure all of these small indicators all show water levels. Like a little bathroom float, they'll come to the top when your battery is full and then they will be lower when it's too low on water and it's important to check these end cells every now and then just to make sure your system is working properly. With proper care you'll see a lot of years out of this battery and your forklift.